Here's your wrestling news for October 11th, 2021. And your headlines for today include, former WWE wrestlers received a very good deal with Impact Wrestling, Stephanie McMahon inducted into International Sports Hall of Fame, Tony Khan opens up about his recent tweet about head-to-head -head battle with SmackDown, Liv Morgan comments on her momentum in WWE getting halted, Brian Danielson reveals actual reason he was forced to retire from WWE, top AEW stars reportedly recommended signing Bobby Fish, John Cena makes a cameo appearance, people get tired of that, wrestling legend opens up about the mistake AEW is making with Sting, former WWE champion teases match against Becky Lynch on WWE Raw, and more. We are kicking off today with Peacock, who WWE formed a lucrative deal with earlier this year, but Vince McMahon's company isn't the only game in town. This week, Peacock added independent wrestling content to their platform, showcasing videos from ICW and WXW. Now, fans can find ICW Fight Club 192 on Peacock, as well as WXW's We Love Wrestling 15, and both are the latest events from their respective promotions. It's interesting that Peacock is showcasing these promotions, as it was last week that Fox nixed MLW being streamed on their streaming service Tubi, as Peacock is seen as solely for WWE content. This isn't even the first instance of networks getting in the way of others, as we reported yesterday that for SummerSlam 2021, Peacock blocked Fox and the USA Network from showing any footage, leaving the pair of networks to share GIFs of the event online instead. NBC Universal owned both Peacock as well as the USA Network and paid WWE a lot of money for their content. And despite this, Peacock will be showing alternatives to Vince McMahon's product on the same platform that hosts the WWE Network. In April this year, WWE released both Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, but the former Iconics now have a new company to showcase their skills. After months of being unable to earn a living due to visa issues, the pair, now going by Jesse McKay and Cassie Lee, have signed with Impact Wrestling. This was confirmed during the Knockouts Knockdown event, and the former women's tag champions, now known as the Inspiration, will debut at October 23rd's Bound for Glory pay-per-view. In a report from Fightful, it said that the pair received a very nice offer from Impact, and that there were other options for the Australians before they chose the Nashville promotion. Fightful adds that the details of their deal aren't just a secret to the public, but that the finishing touches of their contract have been a closely guarded secret backstage as well. We'll have to see what the future holds for the inspiration, but we imagine the Knockouts Tag Team titles will be in their sights down the line, as the pair of popular ex-superstars are now the latest two names to be a part of the Impact roster. As a veteran of WWE both in the ring and backstage, Stephanie McMahon will probably be a Hall of Famer for the company one day, but she hasn't had to wait as long to be recognized for her achievements by a pretty big organization. This week, McMahon became the first female executive to be inducted into the International Sports Hall of Fame, and WWE let fans know with a congratulatory tweet. Stephanie isn't an on-screen character anymore, but continues to represent WWE in an executive role, and her years of hard work paid off with her Hall of Fame induction this week. Last week, it was confirmed that this Friday's SmackDown will be a two-and-a-half-hour show, meaning the last 30 minutes will go head-to-head -head with AEW Rampage. In a tweet, Tony Khan called out WWE and Vince McMahon, saying he's looking forward to beating SmackDown head-to-head, -head, which hasn't sat well with fans. Many fans were quick to criticize the AEW president for taking yet another shot at WWE, while others dismissed the idea that Rampage can beat the blue brand. Responding to an AEW fan who said they're concerned about Khan's tweet aging poorly, TK defended his words, saying, If I'm not sweating it, you shouldn't be either. This is what sports are about. Set a goal and try your best. We've got a great AEW Rampage card Friday, plus big dynamite matches Saturday. I expect to do well, but regardless of next Friday's stats, it'll be a great weekend for the fans. With SmackDown's last half hour this week being commercial free, and the fact that they usually beat Rampage by over a million viewers, a victory for AEW may be wishful thinking for Khan, but he remains confident in Rampage's chance against what he calls WWE's main show. One person who could be on the extra-long SmackDown is Liv Morgan, who's been the victim of stop-start pushes as of late. Despite being massively popular with fans, especially earlier this year following a passionate promo prior to Money in the Bank, Morgan consistently has the rug pulled out from under her, including last week, where she lost her Queen's Crown Tournament first-round match. 
Speaking to Sports Kita, the young superstar discussed the past two years of her career and what she feels caused her to not get that big push. She explained, I've had moments where I feel like I've had so much momentum and I'm just about to break through and then I don't. I do feel this time is different. I like to think positively and I'm very glass half full, so when I look back I'm like, maybe I wasn't as ready as I thought. And that's why I didn't break through even though I wanted it just the same. Morgan went on to say that she feels more well-rounded and is planning to keep her momentum going until she eventually becomes SmackDown Women's Champion. Being a champion is ultimately a decision that WWE have to make, not Morgan, and despite her showing why she should be a champion, in terms of wrestling ability and fan popularity, the company remains hesitant on giving her the chance. In early 2016, Brian Danielson was forced to retire from the ring after injuries had caused him to vacate two singles titles over two years. Giving up the WWE World Heavyweight Championship in 2014 and the Intercontinental title in 2015, Brian's retirement was a tear-jerking moment for everyone, but injuries weren't the only reason for this. Speaking to WDEL.com this week, Brian explained that he'd often told WWE he was fine to wrestle when he really wasn't, and that this came back to haunt him in 2016. He explained, One of the reasons I was forced to retire was not because of the concussions, but because I lied about that. You have to understand, from WWE's point of view, I had been wrestling for them for six years, but then all of a sudden they opened this Pandora's box about lying about his medical history and now we can't trust him. A lot of that was building the trust back, but they were also legitimately looking after my health. Brian was telling WWE he was fine, but his medical records told a different story. And in 2016, WWE decided they couldn't trust Brian's body or his attitude towards his own well-being. The former WWE World Champion was kept retired for two years before he was finally medically cleared in early 2018, but things could have been different had he come clean with his injuries from the start. AEW news next as Bobby Fish recently debuted for the company, but it wasn't his Undisputed Era brother Adam Cole who helped bring him in. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports that it was instead the Young Bucks who had a big hand in bringing the Undisputed Era alum to AEW, and that the company waited until after the match to announce Fish as the newest signing, as they liked the idea of an outsider coming in and challenging for the TNT title. Fish has had just one match in AEW, and his second will be against Brian Danielson on this Saturday's edition of Dynamite, and fans have the Bucks to thank for bringing the former NXT superstar to AEW. Back to WWE, and after a career of saying you can't see me, John Cena can be easily found in movies and made a TV cameo appearance on the most recent Saturday Night Live. During a parody of The Bachelorette featuring SNL host Kim Kardashian West, Cena played himself, one of two men vying for the reality star's approval. With the choice being between the 16-time WWE World Champion and Zeke, played by SNL regular Kyle Mooney, Kim picked Cena despite his quote, wife situation. A fun reference to Cena's marriage to Shay Shiaretsuda, the skit also featured comedians Chris Rock and Amy Schumer, but the WWE megastar proved he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these big names in comedy. More from AEW as Jim Cornette has never shied away from giving his opinions on the All Elite promotion, and on his latest podcast, the controversial wrestling personality discussed what he considered AEW's biggest mistake. On the Jim Cornette experience, he explained that AEW is ruining Sting by having him appear so regularly, and that fans will get tired of the WCW icon if this trend continues. Cornette called out AEW for constantly having Sting get physical, and the repeated use of the Scorpion Death Drop, saying that fans will get bored because they've already seen it plenty of times. Despite having just four matches in AEW since debuting, Sting has gotten physical plenty of times, including popping up after a cutter from QT Marshall to deliver a Scorpion Death Drop on last week's second anniversary of Dynamite. Six years after his horrific turnbuckle bump at Night of Champions 2015, the fact that Sting can wrestle or get physical is a huge deal for AEW, but it's happening far too often for Cornette's liking. And we're ending today with Lita, who hasn't wrestled in WWE in nearly three years, but her next match may have just been announced. When the former women's champion asked fans who they'd like to see her face next, SmackDown women's champion Becky Lynch fired back, promising to send Lita off with a bad arm. Lita responded by teasing a return on tonight's Raw, saying that the match is on if the two find themselves in the same neighborhood tonight. A Lynch vs. Lita match would be must-see, but probably isn't going to happen on tonight's Raw without any promotion. But who would you be backing in this dream match? Let us know below!
Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.